LPT, employers can't make you stand around after you've punched out. Just heard this happens at the Taco Bell in town. My buddy's little brother said they make him clock out and sit in the lobby when they're slow. Absolute crap and he's too young to know better. Depending on the state, this could get the franchisee in trouble, not just the manager. Also depends on what is actually happening. If the supervisor asked and the employee agreed to it, there is no fault on the company. Also, here in California your employer is required to guarantee 2 hours of work for a scheduled shift. So, you can't just be sent home after 1 hour, but after 2 hours of work you can be sent home, even if you were scheduled for 8 hours. However, if the supervisor asks and the employee agrees to leave before the 2 hours, again the employer is not at fault. Going home is one thing. This is clock out. But wait here in case we need you which is different and freaking terrible. Same thing if they require a lunch break, but won't let you leave the property. Wama tries this. Edit. Surprised at how many are missing that I use the word trees. I work at Lowe's. This happens so much. What should I do? Every owns scheduled until 10. We punch out at 10. Wait for manager to unlock door, so we can leave. But before he does he walks the store to make sure it's cleaned. And if something's wrong he tells us to go clean it up. Even after we're punched out. Thieve made people stay 30 minutes over. I usually just walk out. But I get a bad reputation with the managers. Contact your local state wage agency. Or just don't clock out until the manager has done their walk around. Why not both? Sometimes it's not in your control. I read recently about Nandus in the UK that automatically clocks people off and needs managers override to not clock off which surprise surprise some managers aren't doing. Good tip for retail workers who need to do bag checks before they leave. Check my bag. Then I'll clock out. I'm not waiting for you to check out 3 customers to prove I'm not a thief so I can go home. 10 minutes a day. 5 days a week. 52 weeks a year adds up to a week's worth of pay. It adds up. That's why you shit for 10 minutes a day on the clock. Week's worth of paid vacation baby. Boss makes a dollar and I make a dime. That's why I shit on company time. Boss makes a grand and I don't make jack. That's why I'm fighting to seize the means back. I get paid to work. Not to think. That's why I print on company ink. This was me in the industry. Manager, punch out me, I can go. Manager, no I need to do checkout smet, I'll stay on the clock then. Thanks. Also manager, mandatory meeting, it's paid manager, no. Then it's not mandatory. Ugh that second one reminds me of town halls we would have after work. On campus. When I was an admin assist at a big oil and gas company, they didn't tell us it was mandatory. But there was an expectation among my managers that we would be there. After you clocked out of course, if you were hourly, I usually stayed for about 5 minutes and left. I flat out refused to be at work or talk about work when not being paid. As a manager, if you aren't clocked in, you're a customer in my eyes. If I need you to do something I'll ask you to clock in early. It's a game of tit for tat. You get my time for your money. My nephew complained that the MCDS worker wasn't friendly. I told him. Minimum wage is minimum effort. They did their job and we got what we paid for. I have great sympathy for fast food workers. I'm always kind to them. Even if there's mistakes or delays. I get it. If you're off the clock, you're not getting paid. If you're not getting paid you don't stick around. If they ask why you're not staying, insuffer as you feel compelled to answer. Tell them you can't afford to. Money is the only thing that is important to them. It is not less important to you. In fact it should be more important to you because you have less of it. Edit. Thank you for the award. Kind stranger. Absolutely. If they ask why you're leaving, ask if they would like you to clock back in. I find it offensive that you have employers who mule about stealing company time, but they have no problem stealing your time. Fear totally fine with that. No problem. It's always the case. For me anyway. They worried about you being too mim late, but not worried about stealing 5 minutes of my time. Yeah. 
I worked for an employer who wanted me to arrive 15 minutes before opening every day, so I could get the shop ready. I asked him if I would be paid for that time. No. I arrived every day a minute or two before 8am every day. He never said anything more on the subject. If he wanted me earlier, he has to pay. This happened the other way for me. We were being massively overworked and worked a few hours over time each day. But fuck me, if I came in 5 minutes early, manager gave me a disciplinary for it. She was intentionally trying to make my life hell, so I would quit, and came up with all these stupid rules. I couldn't deal with the stress or emotional abuse anymore. I reached out to the manager above her for advice. He said it's not you. Other people have left because of it too. I'll get this sorted. She didn't last much longer, though before she left she tried to pin it on me, saying I caused her to have stress issues. Later on I started to wonder how she ever got to be manager. She never gave a shit about any of the workers and refused responsibility for everything. The manager who replaced her was chill ASF and let me work however I wanted. He even gave me rides home and discussed philosophy with me. Why did you stay with these people for so long? Not op, but as somebody who's worked in similar situations sometimes it can just boil down to job security and feeling like the problem isn't the workplace, but just a few people in it. Sometimes, depending on where you live and how old you are it can be hard to transition from one job to another or even just find work entirely. Even harder if you're not in the best financial situation too. You kinda just hope that things will get better or that the people causing the stress are removed. They also cannot demand that you be there 5, 10 minutes before your shift to get ready worked at a place that tried that one on me. Expected me to be there 10 minutes before my shift starts to turn on my workstation etc. I just nodded and never did it. Edit. I meant without being paid for the extra 5 to 10 minutes. I was expected to get ready on my own time. Not on the clock. But even it's on the clock. If you want me here 5, 10 minutes early then change my shift to accommodate that time. Don't tell me to be there at 8a, but expect me there at 750a. That's just nuts. I do that because I'm a cook and server and it makes the transition faster and easier for everyone but I also clock on as soon as I get there. Clocking on is the best way to start your work. Unless it's a small business and they don't care about hours. I remember my boss asked me a couple times to help out after I punched out. Me being a nice guy did help until it became a daily thing after about two weeks. I decide to respond by saying okay, I et me just clock back in. He got somewhat frustrated and snapped back with a different tone saying just go home. Never ask me to stay after clocking out. Needless to say, I was considered not being a team player. FHXK you mister. Frank. Yeah. If something suddenly came up after I clocked out at previous jobs and I wasn't in a rush to be anywhere, I don't really mind helping out for a couple minutes. But if they start asking you on a regular basis to help after you've clocked out, then they are just taking advantage. This is good advice. Don't tolerate wage theft. The most common type of theft. Never ever complete any work without being clocked in. That means if you're working in a restaurant complete your clothes out and side work and clocking out should be the very last thing you do. You should be clocked in for anything work related this includes meetings and even work related phone calls. Your time is not free. I'm the regional manager of a couple very large restaurants. The law will always take your side if the company you work for is making you complete tasks off the clock. And if you get hurt while doing work off the clock you aren't eligible for workman's comp and the manager slash restaurant could face legal repercussions. How do you record the time and make it so that they don't think you're making it up? Take photos with timestamps. Or even better, if you're in a one-party consent state, voice record everything from them asking you to stay off the clock to the moment you're allowed to leave. Otherwise record the times and get your coworkers to do the same. It's easier to tackle the company in court when you have the benefit of numbers. But then there's that no cell phone policy. If you're off the clock, that policy no longer applies. If anyone would chime in I'd appreciate it. 
As this question has been in my head for a while, my company issues employees company owned vehicles that are required to do our jobs. At the end of the day we drive them home and store them there, meaning we don't have to head to the office before or after our shift to switch over to our personal vehicles. And we all put way fewer miles on our personal vehicles. We are required to clock in when we arrive at our first job and before we depart from our last job. This mostly makes sense to me. As if you imagine it is an office job. You clock in when you get there. Clock out when you leave. You don't get paid to drive to work. The only downside really is that sometimes my commute home is 30 seconds. Sometimes it's over an hour. Depends where my last job is. The part that I'm curious about though is how much control my company has over my time after I clock out but before I park my work vehicle in my driveway. I've been told that we must leave from our homes and head straight to our first job. And from our last job we must head straight home. No pit stops. The reason this is bothersome to me is if, say, I wanted to go to the gym before work, I have to leave my house, drive to the gym, work out, head home, clean up and change, then leave for work. If I could take my work vehicle and a change of clothes, I could shower and change there and cut almost a half hour out of my morning routine. Same goes for if I wanted to go to the gym after work. Here's my logic. Tell me, please, if I'm wrong. On my time, I do as I please. On company time, I do as the company pleases. But I get compensated for the time spent. If I'm driving a company vehicle to an agreed upon location, with no personal deviations allowed, at the behest of the company, that sounds like company time, not personal time. And I should be compensated. If I'm not being compensated, I should be allowed to do as I please. I'm not trying to drive across the country here. I just want to hit the gym without adding a ton of time to my day. What are your thoughts? Can my company tell me where to go and what to do in a company vehicle if I'm off the clock? First things things first, prior to when the keys to this company vehicle were handed to you. What documents did you scribble your name on? Fair point. That was years ago now. But I know I read everything and something like this would have stood out to me. I'm almost certain this isn't something I agreed to other than the agreement to abide by the rules of the company. That being said, could a company hold you to an agreement that was not legal in the first place? Really great questions for a lawyer from your state who knows your state's employment law statutes and precedents. In not knowing the jurisdiction you and your employer are in I really cannot say, in general. Entering into a contract for something illegal is going to be considered void as against public policy. I wish I could help you more. My advice is twofold one, if you really think there is a material wrong here and you honestly feel you have suffered a measurable damage, contact a lawyer in your area and do it now. If you cannot afford one, reach out to the local law school. They may have a clinic that can assist or pro bono deals with local firms that cannot help. 2. If you do not have an explicit employment contract, you are considered an at-will employee, and your employer has the right to sever your employment at any time without any reason, if they so choose, just as you do. So run the politics of your place of employment before you push on this one. Not endorsing corporate abuse or companies taking advantage of their employees ever in any way, but unemployment sucks a hell of a fucking lot more than an extra drive to the gym. Get what's yours. For real. It may seem like 15 minutes here. 20 there no big deal. But in reality. Companies don't give a fuck about you. Like at all. If they tell you do. Do anything make sure. That you are being compensated fairly and correctly. 15 minutes a day is 60 hours a year. What about requiring you to take your lunch in the store. Clocked out. Because there needs to be two people there at all times. Well. Yes, your employer can require you to stay on the premises during your lunch break, but you cannot have any responsibilities during the break. If they do call you to do work, you must be paid. And FYI, lunch breaks are not mandatory by federal law, though states may require them. I know where I live the employer cannot make you stay on site unless they pay you for lunch. They've tried to get on me for going to get lunch at a local shop a few times just handed them the state labor laws about breaks printed out in advance 
Honestly surprised they just took the page and dropped the issue usually they fight that sort of thing because they are headquartered in another state and those are the rules we follow. Government agencies are there to protect you the sex 1000. As much as it's easy and tempting to rip on government, the Department of Labor is there for the worker and they are effective. Several years ago, I walked out on a shitty employer, I had about $1000 owed to me. But the employer refused to pay me. After a month of getting the rune around from them, I filed a complaint with the doll. A few weeks went by without hearing anything. Then one day, I received an email stating an investigation into my case was being opened. Two days later, a check for the amount I was owed came in the mail. I worked with a young lady who was terminated during her maternity leave. She called me asking what she should do, and I told her to call the Department of Labor. The doll had us shut down within the week while they investigated. Turns out she wasn't the only woman fired during maternity leave. They weren't paying the text travel time, illegal here, and they were miscalculating overtime pay. All 95 employees received a check for back pay that was owed to us. Jeez. I used to be in the patch and even the companies I worked for tried to do this. Even other employees tried to get me to stay just a couple minutes he don't know how many times I had to say no and then retort back after there it's only x minutes with sure it's only 5 or 15 minutes. But that adds up. I have literally went through this with my very first job. And I also learned with that job is that at the company doesn't give a fuck about me. They'll use me and abuse me. And at the end of the day they won't give a fuck if I leave or stay. One Kaoka was surprised with how much venom I had over the issue. But I was right. When I quit they literally acted like they didn't give a flying fuck. There wasn't even a slight attempt to try and keep me. And that was after 3. 5 years of zero late calls. Minimal sick days and willingness to pull 16 plus hour days when needed. Reliable. Zero drug use, no need for me to have warning to go to site, etc. Fuck that place and almost everyone working there. It should go the other way too. If it's just a couple minutes then there should be no issue paying you for it. I was trying to tell my mom that they are scamming her out of money for making her come in 15 minutes early to turn on and satchel the computer, but she just won't listen. I wasn't familiar with this at my first job, at a guest store. They made me punch out at midnight, but wanted me to stay until 1am in case we get busy. It was the night before Thanksgiving. Luckily I said nope, because my mom had already gotten there to pick me up. I actually got in trouble and didn't make it past the holidays, but I definitely didn't want to work there if I was going to stand around unpaid. I liked your post. Partly because I fully believe in fighting for the people, but mostly because of your edit section. I appreciate that. So true. Even the edit. I've hit few places for stuff like this. Once even moved apartments and they lost my hours. Lady didn't realize I recorded first then second conversation where first was I'll look into it and second was pretending we never talked before. Second degree felony then they fired me and state fined them for retaliation. All through a hiring company. And the main company liked that I stood up for. Right and so hired me. <laughs> Worked at a bank and casino. Both expect every person to start 10 minutes before to settle in. Time theft reversed. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.